Gonna do a little bit of shooting today. Unfortunately, my time with the Hasselblad is drawing to a close and it's almost time to send it back. And I just wanna play with it a little while longer. And I wanna share with you guys a few things. I've shot a lot on this camera over the last month. Other people have done videos on the X1D, myself included. Nobody has really talked about the lenses that are available. Now, Hasselblad actually let me borrow three lenses. I had the standard 45 millimeter kit lens. I also had the 30 millimeter, which I absolutely love. And I also had the 90 millimeter. I wanna show you kind of what each one of these, what their strong points are and uh, kind of get into it. So that's what we're doing today. So right now I'm using the 90 millimeter, which has a tighter angle of view, which is what I want. And there's this little spillway. And what I'm using is I'm using a 20 stop neutral density filter in addition to a circular polarizer. So there's a lot of stopping down on this camera. This is about a 10 minute exposure right now. And it probably needs to be about 20. So in the end, what you should see is just this nice mist where the water is across the image. We'll see if it works. Okay, so here's the deal. This exposure did not need to be 20 minutes long, but I just got the filter and I was hoping there'd be clouds today and I could work with blurring those and go figure, it's a clear sky. This is January in Texas. Yeah, it's like 60 degrees Fahrenheit out here. Actually getting a little warm. Do I look like Sharky James in this? Okay, so let's talk Hasselblad lenses. This is the 45 millimeter. This is kind of what is considered to be the kit lens because it's usually packaged with the X1D. And this is the first one that I had. I used it a lot when I was at the Grand Canyon and then I took it to New York. And actually I got the other two lenses the last day I was in New York. So I will use this quite a bit starting out. If F3.5 doesn't sound very wide open to you, you have to remember, and I think what Hasselblad have done with all these lens designs is they're trying to keep them small and you're dealing with medium format lenses. And so if you went down to like F2.2 or something like that, it's be a much bigger lens and because Hasselblad have really marketed this as a very portable camera it doesn't make a lot of sense to give big chunky lenses to go with it and so I think that's why they've kept this first round pretty small and I think this is why this is the kit lens it's a good versatile lens like I said I tend to leave it on the camera all the time and uh, I really like it This is my favorite lens in the lineup period. This is a 30 millimeter f3.5 and the full frame equivalent of this would be about a 24 millimeter lens. So it's pretty wide. It's not super wide, but it does the trick. There's something very magical about this lens. It's extremely sharp. If you want to do architectural types of photography or something where you need a lot of sharpness and a wide angle of view, the 35 millimeter is an excellent choice. And this is uh, easily my favorite lens. If I could only pick one lens to go with the X1D, no question it would be the 30 millimeter. So there is one last lens that I want to mention. This is the 90 millimeter F3.2, which is not quite a portrait lens. The 35 millimeter equivalent is about 71 millimeters or so. It's a longer lens. I would like to see Hasselblad do something like 100 or even 120 millimeter. The 90 millimeter does do a good job on knocking out backgrounds, but if you're really into the bokeh, you know, the little perfectly round spiritual highlights that you get. Now, I mentioned it's not a super wide aperture and the aperture blades aren't perfectly circular so you do get these little strange geometric shapes. Oh. 
Personally, I put more emphasis into what's in focus than what's out, so it wasn't a big deal for me, but some people might have an issue with that. Well guys, this is kind of a sad moment because my time with the Hasselblad is drawn to a close. So it's time for me to pack all this stuff up, send it back. I want to give a special thanks to Hasselblad for loaning me the equipment. And uh, if you guys have any other questions on them, leave a comment below. I will do my best to answer. And until the next video, I will see you guys then. Later. Later.